than an attempt to create at least some intrigue in the struggle of coaching teams in women's figure skating. Journalists and fans have been closely following the tandem of the stunningly talented Sofia Samodelkina and CSKA coach Sergei Davidov for the last two seasons. It seemed that it was the immensely hardworking Sofa that would become a ticket to the big game for the specialist and help challenge Tutbirds herself. But Sonia suddenly decided to change the coach, she left the group of Sergei Davidov, from whom she learned almost all the elements of Ultra C, and moved to Svetlana Sokolovskaya. Will there be any benefit from the unexpected decision of one of the most talented figure skaters in Russia? And is it worth it in this situation to feel sorry for the Davidov who raised her? The first rumors about the transition of Sofia Samodelkina appeared on April 13. However, the figure skater herself and representatives of CSKA were in no hurry to confirm this information. Nevertheless, after a week and a half, fans of the figure skater noticed that Sonia changed the description of her profile and social networks. There appeared a mark of Svetlana Sokolovskaya's coaching staff. Probably, at the moment the athlete is on viewing, but it is already possible to talk about leaving Davidov as a fait accompli. Samadokina's name has been heard by figure skating fans for three years, but until last season she rarely managed to back up her mastery of the most difficult jumps with high results at tournaments. In this regard, last season was a breakthrough. Sonia won several stages of the Russian Cup, entered the top five at the national championship, and took second place at the Russian Junior Championship. And at the end of March, at the Grinkov Samodelkina Memorial Competitions, she even declared an exorbitant complexity in the free program, she tried to perform four quads and a triple axle. The fact that the figure skater owns all the elements of Ultra C, except for the quad flip, and is not afraid to insert them into the program, is admirable. But a certain ceiling of its capabilities was still felt, there are difficult jumps, but there is still not enough stability and components. In contrast, by the way, from the main competitor Samadolkina Sonia Akativa. Over the past two years, Tutbirds, a 14-year-old student, has never fallen below the first place. She almost always manages to perform several elements of Ultra C cleanly and give an emotional rental, which is highly appreciated by the judges. Which, it is Akativa who is called the favorite of the new Olympic cycle. But she will become an adult a year later than Samadolkina, the CSKA pupil will have to compete with Olympic medalists next season. Most likely, this was one of the reasons for the transfer. The fact is that Davidov has not had major successes with adult athletes yet. Sokolovskaya, on the contrary, prefers to work with figure skaters who perform at a higher level. When choosing a coach, Sonia was probably guided by the success of Mark Kondratyuk, whom Sokolovskaya led to Olympic gold in one season. After all, Samadolkina needs to do her best to get into the application for the next Olympiad and compete for victory. And in this case Sokolovskaya, apparently, deserves more trust than Davidov. And although the athlete said that she wanted to get to Svetlana Vladimirovna back in 2016, such a transition looks, to put it mildly, ambiguous. Firstly, a transfer within the framework of one school is a very dubious idea. A year ago, Davidov said that the only good option for the transition is Crystal. But, according to the coach, Tutbirds's staff would hardly have offered Sonia a mansion. And it seems to be true, Iteri already has enough talented juniors who are more stable than Samadolkina. And after the words of the figure skater, that she was making fun of the confrontation between Tutbirds and Lyshenko, she would not even be considered. Secondly, Sokolovskaya has not yet prepared any titled singles. Yes, Samran and Kondratyuk, who took medals at international competitions, are engaged in her group, Svetlana Vladimirovna really works well with men. But of the girls, little-known Yurishids, Levishkina, and Viznova train with her, none of them jumps elements of Ultra C. And at Davidov, every second junior trains a triple axle and a quadruple. At the last senior Russian championship, his students were among the few who declared these jumps in the free program. And he raised Samadolkina practically from scratch. Before coming to him, she jumped only double and now owns four quads and a triple axle. Is this really not an indicator of quality for a figure skater? It is not yet clear what the transition of Samadolkina will lead to.
Now the prospects for changing the coach look rather strange, and the decision itself looks more like a gesture of despair. But in any case, I would like to wish Sonia success. Let's hope that their cooperation with Sokolovskaya will be productive, and the figure skater will not regret her decision.